Hi everyone, this is Roxana Bangura of the Roxana Bangura channel and the Bangura Chronicles where I and my daughter Maris share with you our life here in Mexico and beyond. Uh, Maris is not too far away, she's actually walking the dog um, and I'm downstairs outside on, on the property of where we live, the department, the de departamento, edificio. The apartment building is atrás, behind me. And um, here's Maris. Say hi. hi. <laughs> oh, we have a dog. I don't know. Let me let me introduce you to our dog before I start the video. This is Nina. This is Nina. Nina Snickers. Her name is Nina Snickers Bangura. Nina. Say hi, Nini. She's so precious. She's not quite one. Very precious. Very precious um, dog. Um, she's a rescue. Happens to be a poodle, which is actually a, a type of dog I've been wanting for many years. And Maris's um, classmate rescued her. But they are a dog family of four dogs, so it was too much for them to take on another dog, and they generously gave her to us. They found her um, outside on the street. She's a blessing, such a sweetheart. Very intelligent. She's athletic and a lap dog. She's like the perfect dog. Anyway, I just wanted to uh, give you a brief update uh, about things now. Um, school is still closed here in our area of Mexico, and um, we've been working online for since March, okay, so still working online. Uh, I'm pursuing other things uh, concerning my business, the Bangor Chronicles, and the teaching arm of the business is the Bangor Institute. That's where I um, engage, well, that's where I teach students online, the English language, and then um, I'm a consultant. I'm an international education consultant. So I've made arrangements with the school to do a, uh, intercambio or an exchange program with students from the states uh, as well as other countries. So th this initiative started by, started by me, was my idea. The owners of my school were on board or are on board and we started this process in November. Everything was coming to a close in February and then COVID. So the initial phase of it is going to be an exchange program with students uh, via Zoom video conferencing. And it's just an opportunity for our students uh, here in Mexico to practice with students in the United States uh, in terms of their English or whatever, I, you know, English. And then for the children in the States or the students in the States can practice their Spanish. Um, another country we're looking into is uh, Senegal. Those students there uh, speak French. Um, I, they may be learning, they also speak Wolof which is the, one of the indigenous languages of, of Senegal and the Gambia, and French is the, uh, one of the official languages of Senegal. So these are just uh, video conferencing exchanges that students here in Mexico will have with students in the United States, uh, a school in New York, a school in Virginia, as well as a school in Dakar. Dakar is the capital of Senegal. Senegal is in West Africa. So these were initiatives that were started by me in uh, November, and um, we were ready with the, with the processes in February, and then everything got put on hold because of COVID. We hope to continue with that, okay? So this is my English, uh, my international uh, education consultant status. So those are the products that I'm working on, in addition to still um, teaching students online. Uh, I just wanted to share with you, I was just on the bus, um, the public bus, and in our area, police are boarding the bus now to make sure that we're wearing face masks. So that's a, that's a new development. Um, there are areas in our town that are cordoned off, that we are not allowed to um, access. And a lot of this is in El Centro or our downtown. This is where a lot of business, businesses are, to include mom and pop businesses, to include one of the, the markets that we have. Um, it's not an open air market, we have two open air markets, but this market is a market, okay, and it's a large, it takes up like one quadra, one block. It's a huge market, and of course there are different vendors inside. So you can get cooked food, uh, produce, meat, fish, as well as all sorts of bric-a-bac, you know. It's so much fun going to the mercados, you know. I really looked forward to shopping, and you know, you're shopping local, you're supporting local businesses, helping, helping the local economy, but one is closed i didn't really frequent that one often and the other two there's not too much crowd control they're giving you know at least from when i witnessed it a couple of weeks ago uh so i've i've stopped frequenting the markets um i get my 
groceries delivered at times and at times I do go to the market. Um, I was discussing with my friends that live here that the prices are going up exponentially here and I know globally you know food is going up because it's just getting harder to access it. Um, I myself I've started a garden my mother has the green thumb my mother um, shout out to Beneka Norman she has the green thumb and she's she has just a, a gift for for growing plants my whole life and I and I, I don't think I inherited it but I, I started with one tomato plant um, if it grows a little bit more I'll show it to you it's it's like a it's going to be a week old on Sunday I think yeah so uh, so I started one tomato plant but my plan is to, to, to start to garden um, and that's really about all that's really about all um, if you need to talk to me please reach out to me uh, the Bangor Chronicles are on uh, Facebook you can send a message there it's Roxana.Bangura on Instagram and um, you know you can shoot me messages there I'm also on LinkedIn Roxana Bangura you can send messages there if you have any questions um, but I thank you for your time. I thank you for riding, riding this ride with me, continuing this adventure. Uh, we're happy, we're safe, and um, only no plans to visit the U.S. at this time. This is Roxana Bangura of the Roxana Bangura Channel and the Bangura Chronicles, as well as the Bangura Institute, where I and my daughter share with you our life here in Mexico. And um, be well, take care, and stay safe.